Hi everybody, welcome to a series of the Techno Dinosaur meets the IT Geek Vlog 76. My name is David Logan, the IT Geek, the guy who takes the jargon out of technology for you. Based here in Annan, Southwest of Scotland, United Kingdom. With me today is my normal partner, Wally Nicholl. So, Wally, how are you and where are you? Thank you, David. I am very well. Thank you for asking. My name is Wally Nicholl. I am the Techno Dinosaur, so called because I'm very limited IT skills. However, I'm also a personal development coach who helps people with the stuff in their lives, stuff they might be struggling to deal with by themselves. I'm based in Trin, South Ayrshire, Scotland, UK. And I help people with the technical stuff, how to use it efficiently. So today's question, Molly. Each week, to you, the viewer, if you've not been watching our videos, we ask each other a question, pertinent, pertinent to our own knowledge base. Today's question, Molly. What is and how does it affect us, apathy? Apathy, very good question, David. And you and the viewers won't be surprised to know I've already researched this and made some notes. So the word apathy is actually based uh, originally on a Greek word, apathia. I don't know if that's a Greek pronunciation, but it means essentially lack of feeling or an absence of emotion. So it's almost like an emotion or a feeling of having no emotion or feeling. And we all kind of know what apathy is. Some people might describe it as feeling a bit meh, right? Or a bit down in the dumps or whatever. Um, I had a client who was like that. And being from Glasgow, I asked him if he'd lost his mojo. And he replied that he had. So we had to go and find his mojo again. And we did. However, apathy is probably a bit more serious than that. So the concerning thing is it's also a well-known symptom of anxiety, stress, depression, and various other things. It's not a thing to be uh, dismissed lightly. But before I get all doom and gloom, let me refer to my notes. We've discussed this many times before. With the current restrictions and a... Uh, lockdowns and whatever associated with COVID. It's a trying time for everybody. And sometimes we can get to a point of apathy where we couldn't care less, basically. We discussed before in a previous vlog about self-motivation. So apathy could be the opposite of self-motivation where, excuse my French, we just can't be asked. So if we can't be bothered to do things, we can descend into a kind of vicious circle where we can't work up the enthusiasm to do anything. And then because we haven't worked up that enthusiasm, we don't do anything and so on and so on. So you might have a to-do list. Maybe you can't find the energy to do your to-do list. And then you get a wee bit down because you're not doing anything. So does apathy really matter? And the loud answer is, yes, it does. Here's a bold statement. Life only has meaning dependent on, on our engagement with it. But what does that mean? If we don't engage with life, if we don't go out and meet our friends, if we don't socialise, if we don't whatever, life becomes very tedious and boring and we can get a bit down the dumps. So the best way to avoid apathy is to re-engage with life, with our social circles, with our hobbies, family and friends and so on. <clears throat> However, the difficulty could be that if we don't have the energy or the motivation or the enthusiasm to make that re-engagement, it becomes a kind of a vicious circle. We don't re-engage because we've got no enthusiasm. And if we wanted to re-engage, we don't have the enthusiasm to do it. Does that make sense? Yes. Good. So, I'm pleased to know from my researches online, there are ways to combat apathy, when we can't be bothered doing things. And as I said before, on a serious level, it can have 
harmful side effects or harmful consequences. So one of the first things that they advise is get a good night's sleep. Now, that might seem self-evident, get a good night's sleep. But if you don't get a good night's sleep, you wake up in the morning tired, you're through the day tired, you go to your bed, suffer from more insomnia, and so on and so on and repeat. A couple of tips, and we've discussed this before, don't drink too much coffee because it can remain in your system and keep you awake for many hours after you've had it. Switch off your mobile devices an hour or two before you go to bed. Don't watch the news because it's inevitably full of doom and gloom and that will just depress you before you try and go to sleep. Okay. Another thing we've talked about before is exercise. When we're feeling a bit apathetic, we might not have the enthusiasm or the motivation to go to the gym for a workout, or in your case, to go for your walks, or go out for a jog, or whatever it is. But we don't have to focus too heavily on that. You can move your body in other ways. You can stand up, walk up and down the stairs. Parents can play with their kids. You can do some gardening. We've talked about that before. The more you move, the more energy and motivation you'll have. So that becomes a beneficial circle. The more you do it, the more beneficial it will be. And the less apathy will have a hold of you. Okay. Then, I may have mentioned this before, socialization. Connecting with other people. Sitting watching a movie with your family and friends. Going out for a beer or a coffee. Being in a community group. That association with other people has a beneficial effect and can help lift apathy. Or you could volunteer for something locally where you connect with other people, you'll be doing a good thing. And all of that will help to combat apathy. Fourthly, and I mentioned this in relation to watch the news before you go to your bed, avoid people and situations which are all doom and gloom. There are a few things worse than being in the house with your partner, husband, wife, family, kids are all doom and gloom because they will just bring you down, even though they don't mean to. So from a self-care point of view, it's a good idea to distance yourself a wee bit. Get in the car, go for a walk, have some me time. Finally, try something new, get a new habit, get a new hobby. Find something on the internet. There's all sorts of things, studying, um, learning new things, whatever. That will stimulate your imagination, stimulate enthusiasm, and kind of kick you in the arse to get you in your apathetic state. So whatever you do, do something. Just do something. So here's to losing the apathy and being happy and contented and engaged again. I hope that's been useful. Fantastic. Thank you for answering that, Willie. That's great. So to you, the viewer, if you feel empathetic, I want to know what empathy is. Willie is your guy. He will ensure you can, <laughs> if not physically, but emotionally, kick you up to the backside. So for now, have a great week, everybody. Keep searching for our videos. Keep sharing the videos. Engage in them. Have a great week. Thank you. Yes, David. Empathy is another good uh, topic to talk about, but uh, apathy was today's talk. However, thank you very much for that, David. Um, To the viewer, if you're struggling with anything, apathy, empathy, anything at all, get in touch with me. I'm more than happy to have a chat to see how I can help. In the meantime, as David said, stay safe. Stay well, and always remember, have some fun. Goodbye for now. Bye.